going on guys welcome back let's talk about the federal firearms license class 3 now what that license does for you is allows you to purchase and collect older weapons weapons known as curios and relics as the ATF classifies them this is one of the easiest licenses you can get and it's the cheapest license you can get it's going to cost you $35 and it's good for three years um, I've looked through YouTube and I haven't found too many videos that reference this particular license. So I wanted to make this, hopefully to help you guys out. Please like and share the video. Now let's talk about some obvious things that I think you probably already know. If you are a convicted felon, if you've been turned down in the past for a license like this, if you have any documented mental health issues, then obviously you're not going to be able to get this license. Also, if you're not a U.S. citizen, that's pretty obvious you're not going to be able to get this license. Um, it's very simple to get. As you can see on the screen, I have the ATF website pulled up. I'm going to show you the two forms that you need, and we'll talk about them a little bit. Guys, everything that I talk about is going to be in the description below of this video, all the links. Um, if I can put the PDF forms in there, I don't think I can. I'll do that as well. Anything I can do to help you guys and to make it easier for you. Okay, so this is the site you want to be at. This is the ATF's website. Again, I'm going to include a link directly to where I'm at now. This first form you want to fill out is ATF F5310.16. Now on the website, it's in PDF for format. You can fill it out actually on the website, <clears throat> print it out, and go ahead and prepare to mail it. Or you can print it out and write in everything that it asks. Let's go ahead and open this up. <clears throat> sorry about that guys it took a little time here but here's the form again this is 5310-16 um, it asks you the basic information on the top portion your name address etc as you scroll down you want to make sure you he hit each and every question and answer it completely Take your time and answer this. Um, I know when I first did this, I skipped a number of questions. So make sure you answer every question honestly. Okay, now if you see at the bottom here, it says copy one ATF. Copy, that copy, you're going to mail to the ATF. So once it's filled out, that one goes to the ATF. The second set of forms is here. It says copy two CLEO. Chief Law Enforcement Officers, what that stands for, need to mail it to your sheriff, chief police in your city, uh, wherever you're at. Um, what I did was, and what you should do, is when you're mailing one to the ATF, at the same time, go ahead and mail it out to your, your uh, local law enforcement. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this form. Um, it does come with instructions, so if you have any questions, just go down and you'll be able to read the instructions for this one, for this form. Okay, let me uh, go back. Second form is called ATF F5330.20, also known as a certification of compliance. Let's go ahead and open this. Okay, and basically what this form is, in a nutshell, um, it, it wants to ask you if, well, it does ask you if you're a U.S. citizen um, or if you're a non-immigrant alien. So just answer those um, honestly, again. Obviously, if you're not a U.S. citizen, then you won't be able to get it. And that's pretty much it for that form, real simple. Okay, guys, once you complete both of these forms, you're going to go forms. Make sure you answer every question on there. Make sure you sign the form. Make sure you mail the copy of this first form to your chief law enforcement officer. And like I said, the other copy goes to the ATF. Now, when you're getting ready to send in your payment, what I recommend is you send in a money order. It's $35, and again, that's good for three years. Now, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. What I want to show you guys next is my actual license. Some of the numbers and stuff are blurred for obvious reasons. And here it is right here. This is the a copy of my actual license. As you can see, it has license number, uh, expiration date. Again, that's three years. It's got my 
mailing address. It's got the type of license. Um, then I'll have to sign it. It's got my printed name. And this stuff right here, your name, you're going to put that in the form. Um, your position title and the date. Then towards the bottom here, there's an actual card that you can cut out with the same information on it. You can put it in your wallet or whatever. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is a that is what a class three federal farms license actually looks like. Um, I think I've hit just about everything that I wanted to talk about. If you guys got any questions, feel free to send me a PM. I hope that this video has been helpful. Uh, one last thing <clears throat> I want to mention. If you're going to be purchasing uh, weapons, the weapons have to be uh, 50 years or older in order to get delivered to your home. Actually, that's all that you can can deal with with this particular license. OK, so just remember that 50 years or older. Um, also, there is a, a list of firearms that you can actually purchase on the ATF website, and I'm going to get a link to that as well so you can go and download it and you'll have a copy of, of every single weapon um, that you're authorized to buy. Make sure you if you're ordering guns online at like Buds or Grab a Gun, you make sure you send them your federal firearms license. You can email it to them and then anything that qualifies as a curio and relic, then you can go ahead and order it, have it delivered directly to your home. Guys, I appreciate you guys uh, sticking in here with me. I know it's been a long video, and I generally don't make videos this long. I felt compelled to do this because of, of legislation that's about to happen. Anything that's going to give you guys a leg up, um, you need to do it. All right, guys. Um, talk to you later.